Hey Wob guys, it's Fish and welcome back to the land of the free. Uh, we last left off, the British were being a real, real pain. Uh, they went uh, over here and just started besieging this army, uh, besieging this army with my massive generals which I accidentally start, uh, created. If you didn't see it, basically what I did, I selected all these units and instead of uh, telling them to replenish, I accidentally clicked the promote button. So I just went ahead and just promoted like seven or eight different generals, where well, you can see five generals. Uh, the British also went ahead and took this place up here, um, which was not good. Uh, I didn't want to lose whatever it's called, what, Fort Nashwak. Um, or something along them lines, uh, but they don't really have that bigger army there. They have some East Indian uh, Company infantry um, And actually a howitzer, which is a little bit scary, but apart from that they haven't really got much there I am also uh, building an army, but I kind of ruined all my money into these generals like uh, Like they cost a lot of money to promote units uh, It doesn't even say that like it doesn't say how much it is, but it was a lot of money. I think I had like 20 grand at one point, and now it's all completely gone. Uh, British are also besieging all my ports, which is really, really frustrating. But we do have a, a sizable navy. That's not our navy. Uh, this is our navy. We're currently besieging their navy, which is in, in port here. And hopefully we can starve it out um, or something along those lines, uh, which is reasonably nice. Over here, I'm pretty sure, yeah, well, there you go. You can see we have a big-ass army over here. Uh, which is just chilling here for, for the meantime, um, which is cool, getting ready to um, conquer the rest of the Caribbean, which we are going to go ahead and give to Sweden. Um, yeah, I think I was going to give Ca the Caribbean to Sweden. Um, we also gave this place over here to Sweden because Sweden are uh, awesome. Um, so yeah, they're over here at the moment, uh, which gives them a little bit of a stronghold like in Africa, because at the moment the Russians are really going to town in the Swedish, uh, which really sucks. They've gone ahead and taken Stockholm. Um, and they only have a place in Finland left, which is not too good for them. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, they'll, they'll survive. I'm sure they'll beat off the Russians eventually. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything which happened last episode. Uh, I think we're going to go and end the turn. And hopefully the British actually attack me because I want to defend against the British. We also, if you can see in the top left-hand corner over there, we do actually have a reinforcing army on its way to come and actually aid us. Um, so we really want to sort of hold off... Like I mean, it's okay if they attack us. It's not really. Um, we can. I'm pretty sure we can defend off that. Uh, oh, then they've actually just left, which is that's that's really nice. Um, it gives that reinforcing army to the left a little bit more time because I have some really really nice infantry and everything. It's like four or five chevron infantry there, uh, which is really really good. Um, it should be able to stand up to the British, uh, especially with all my generals. I mean, I can just swarm a line with like six or seven different general units and just. Just absolutely rinse it. So hopefully that's sort of a plan at least. I need to build up more, a lot, well, a lot more infantry into that army though in uh, New France, uh, just to try and boost numbers and just push back the British. But when I do finally, um, when I do finally defeat the British army, I need to uh, station a, a fleet along this uh, river which we're looking at now because that's where the British keep on moving in their ships and they keep on moving in their ships and just landing uh, along w along my point. Uh, there. Wow, I just lost all sense of speech. I think I was having a stroke or something then. Um, they land their ships by where you can see Spain, uh, the Spain flag where it's uh, besieging my port. I also need to deal with the Spanish, which is so annoying. It's, it's just annoying. There were so many enemies, but I guess as a, a brilliant man once said, give us liberty or give us death. I'm pretty sure that was in the American independence. I'm pretty sure. It's like about a civil war, but I don't know why he'd be saying it in the civil war because they already had independence, but you never know. There could be the northern states wanting independence. Uh, southern states, states even wanting independence. Um, but yeah, that's cool. So basically, we're going to go ahead and deal with this British army pretty soon when we have a few more troops, and then that's pretty cool. Just keep on moving our troops in the in the Caribbean. And then hopefully we get a free and peaceful uh, America. That's the plan. And a bit of Mexico as well, because he doesn't want Mexico. Uh, shush woman, I do not want you to, to talk to me. Uh, agent recruited, just some priest dude who's chilling in his chapel, that's cool. Uh, enemy raids, trait gained, elections, oh that's cool. National, uh, what? How? How did I lose this place? Sweden's been destroyed. What? what? How did they lose this place? I really don't understand. Oh, I guess it just turned to rebels. That is so gay. 
Um, and we don't have an army to do that. We'll demand their surrender, they refuse. We'll just continue the siege and hold off. Oh, that's sad that Sweden's been destroyed. Maybe we can go ahead and uh, get them back in it a little bit later. But who knows? Um, so many generals here. We need to go ahead and replenish. Like, oh, it's so annoying. Let's go ahead and... Maybe, do we get any money back from doing this? We don't at all. Now, that sucks. So we're going to do that. That rinses all my money, which is really, really bad. This army's so almost here. Two turns. Um... I'm going to go ahead and move him this way so we can get into this city. Because this city looks like it needs defending. So these dudes just going to go as fast as they can and try and defend that. The reinforcements, this army over here. It's a decent army. Uh, yeah, it's got a nice nice amount of uh, troops in that. Uh, but we can't really do much there at all. How about our, our sovereign army? How's that doing? We have a decent actual army here. We have some really, really nice uh, troops over here. We can't, it won't show me what they're called. Uh, some I can't pronounce that, so I'm not coming to, but they look really, really cool. Uh, and we will go ahead and move out um, soon enough uh, with that. Over here in the Caribbean, I guess we should start moving the army out. Leave a nice little stationary force here. We'll leave a Minutemen here to defend. Hopefully that will make them happy. Why can't I get these guys on here? I just want them to get on the ship. Is it because my port's being blockaded so I can't? Let's hope not. There you go, they've got on. Is this place really unhappy now? I would assume it is. No, it's relatively happy. And we don't have any money to recruit any more troops, but that's cool that they're happy. Um, now let's just sort of lagging a little bit, which I apologise for. That's just my frame rate dropping for some unknown reason. Uh, but yeah, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and move this fleet over here and as you can see they have literally no troops here whatsoever uh, so it should be really really easy just to go ahead and uh, take control of the city yeah it should be not any trouble at all okay guys so we're back and hopefully it's not lagging uh, too much I'll just move my mic up yeah so for some reason like I don't know why it does it It just gets to the point where it really really hates me and doesn't want to um, doesn't want to record anymore but yeah my frame rate is straight back up again when I decide to start recording um, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and actually attack this army the British army which is just walking around uh, fucking me up you can see it's not really very strong we only have a few units of infantry and I have a, a, a much sizable force uh, a larger force, I should say. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully we can go ahead and clean this up and then that's a British army out of uh, New France, which will be really, really nice. It means we don't have to uh, watch, uh, we don't have to worry about protecting our borders for a little bit longer. We still have uh, the Fort Hawk up in the north, uh, northeast, which we need to take back. Uh, but we've I've just sent an army to do that because uh, at the end of the turn between recordings, you have to watch that, um, which will be cool. Uh, but yeah, so we just keep on pushing up and just hopefully we can take out this army without too much trouble So we have a nice force to go ahead and keep uh, And actually defend our borders and push on and take out the rest of uh, Spain Which is in Mexico and Southern America That's really the plan um, The plan for this let's play I feel uh, And yeah, just so just defend our borders from the British and uh, fuck up Spain And then go over to Europe, take over all of uh, all of Britain and uh, then maybe try and make a name for myself in India. That's really, really the plan. Uh, so yeah, we got we got a really, really, really nice uh, infantry line here. They are looking pretty beautiful. We've got some, yeah, we've got some really, really nice lines. Our men just look wonderful, especially because Assassin's Creed 3 came out on uh, PC. Uh, which I am not rich enough to buy, which kind of sucks. I'll just have to wait till it's on sale or something in the future. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty fucking cool. Um, our rangers will run over here and take this uh, this defensible wall. Uh, and they will chill under there, which is cool. Our Minutemen, uh, is there anything over here to take at all? Just having a look. Um, no, it doesn't look like it is. The map is massive though. This is really, really cool. Can see look at it it's still going like this is epic really is epic like i could just take like oh it's so cool i love darth mod it makes games so much better uh they will go ahead and support the rifle infantry division uh, our cannons up here have they got a straight aim or are they just gonna be shooting straight into the hill 
Uh, no, they should be relatively okay. This kind of might be a bit dodgy, but apart from that, they should be absolutely fine. And our general can get up on a hill and just watch the battle unfold, I feel. Uh, yeah, and the uh, Hussars over here can uh, be stationed in these woods. Hopefully they can get hidden. Yeah, they're, he they're hidden now, which is nice. They can spring out if they try and charge my cannons at any point. I move them up a little bit just so they have a better, a better view, which is, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so the British go ahead and take really, really defensive positions straight away. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just advance our Minutemen over here. They can go ahead and take that, and our rifles can go ahead and take that. Yeah, as you can see, our cannons are kind of fucking up a little bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and just limber these guys back up and just push them up a little bit. Um, they are moving out some cav, and yeah, they're just moving out all their cav. They don't really have a very strong infantry force. That does look really, really cool, I must admit. That does that does look pretty epic. Yeah, the only real strength is just this infantry division here, which will be a little bit annoying to deal with. Um, but apart from that, yeah, we should be able to just steamroll it, really. Because uh, our infantry is on... Well, we have a lot more of it, that's for sure. So yeah, let's go ahead and move up the first two divisions. Uh, we'll just go ahead and stick these dudes up a little... Yeah, we'll go ahead and stick these dudes there. And then these dudes can just stay behind them. But they will be off. They'll take them off fire at will, though. Just so they don't shoot into the back of um, of our uh, allies. We're going to get get our cannons in a decent position. We need to be a little bit careful. We're going to go ahead and spring out our hussars. And hopefully they can go ahead. And oh, they're not even hussars. They're just regiment of horse. We'll go ahead and spring out our regiment of horse. And they'll go off and just try and defend... Like, oh, that's just annoying. Go, let's go, go ahead and tell them to form square. Which is just pretty useless because there's so few of the horses. Like, they're just going to run out instantly. It's just a waste of square time, in my opinion. These guys not going to form up on here? Please do. And these dudes have done the same. They, they've got two. I like, I like how they split up. That looks really cool. And these dudes are about to uh, form up as well. Just in case, just defending the cannons. And our cannons can start forming up and start uh, shooting at the enemy. Which will be nice. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and tell them to get out. And yeah, as you can see, these dudes, uh, their, their horses didn't really stand a chance. So yeah, let's go ahead and move up the line infantry back up. And our cav can just go back to defending. Well, I'll take out these regiment of horses. Oh, are they going to charge me? Hopefully they do. My rifles are already shooting, which is cool. They're just reloading. They've already volleyed. We missed that volley, which is kind of gay. We have our regiment of horse, which should hopefully just intercept our cannons. Yeah, they're just going to go ahead and get in front to stop the cannons from shooting. I need to tell the cannons to fucking hold fire. Don't know before they volley into the back of my own men, which would not be too good. Like that. I did tell them to stop firing, but alas, they, they decided they want to shoot into the back of my own men, which is cool. I will let them do that. I mean, I only lost three horses, so yeah, we've managed to clean up these horses. Oh, they've got so many horses. This is their fucking cannons. They're charging at me now. What? Why are they throwing their cannons at me? What the hell? That's so random. Yeah, we're just going to get pounded by our Minutemen over here. That does look so cool. I know I say this so much, but yeah, this mod is just awesome. I love it so much. And Darth, I really hope he does carry on uh, modding come Rome 2. Because Darth mod just makes games so good. So our infantry is forming up. Our general is still over here, over watching the battle. He's giving out his orders. Telling the men what to do. We'll go ahead and form up a little bit better. Two lines will be cool. But he is uh he hasn't actually lost a battle yet, I'm pretty sure. I think I've only actually only lost one battle on this so far as well. Cannons are shooting. Hopefully we can do a bit of damage. Yeah, we missed massively there. Which is not good. We got some more cav as well. The cav is just annoying. The cav really needs to just go. Because it's, it's just irritating. So yeah, can we can actually get down here? Which is nice. Normally about type of terrain, you cannot. So yeah, as soon as that line's formed up, we will tell them to carry on marching and push them forward. 
the last bit of a line is just reforming. Yeah, so let's go ahead and tell these dudes that we'll group these dudes. That looks pretty cool. And we'll just form them up. Maybe over here would be a good idea. No, I want them to get them like that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and speed it up as well just so they move quicker. Because I don't want to run them, I don't want to get them tired. Because that would be silly to get them tired. They've still got a long battle ahead of them, or at least a long firefight. But that does look really, really cool, I must admit, just watching my lines. If I go ahead and select another unit or something. And just watching my inventory just move up. If I had better graphics, it would look a lot better, but alas, my computer is not too good, so you just have to deal with this, and that looks just so cool. Just my men going off to battle, especially in slow-mo. looks epic. I'm probably being charged by Cav or something. Oh, nearly. Nearly was right. Let's go ahead and tell our men to halt, and they can uh, actually start firing upon the enemy, which have just appeared out of nowhere. A nice first volley. And the second volley goes in. We, we kill quite a few people. Where's our horses at? Because I want to go ahead and just charge in these units so I don't get outflanked. This unit can volley and then form square. Is it going to have enough time? No, it's not. But yeah, still we managed to hit into the back of the horses, which is good. We should really just be pushing forward and like using our numbers to our advantage. Are these, have these guys got a decent like... No, if they face shoot, they'll just shoot straight into the back of them, which is not good. Are these dudes shooting over here? They've actually sunk in the... Oh, no, they're kneeling. I thought they had sunk in the snow, which would not be too good. We're not using our numbers to the greatest efficiency, so we'll go ahead and just go ahead and outflank these dudes. Tell them to run this time because they're in the heat of battle now. Our horses have actually slammed into whatever's over here. I can't quite see because of the tree. I guess it's infantry if there's infantry dead bodies over here. Now I guess if I just hover over it, it will show me. These dudes are quickly just getting in position ASAP. As soon as they and they can start just unloading on this infantry division. And yeah, well, there's two. They've got some rangers and then I guess they've got their, their other infantry. Which is like they have like the they don't even have bayonets on their rifles, which is just a bit awkward for them. If I charge them, I could just absolutely annihilate them. Let's go ahead and just charge this infantry unit as well. Which is just kind of just having a really, really poor rate of fire. Just two guns shooting at once. It's probably not the best idea. And my horses is are spazzing out, they're just having a little party. Party hazards, party hazards. That was a, a brilliant song. I, I wrote it myself. There you go. And there, there you go. You can see that our rifles, our rifles on the flank are starting to shoot now, and we're just really starting to go to town. We've lost quite a few men actually, um, which is not too good. But yeah, their infantry has suddenly just decided to rout, uh, which does not surprise me whatsoever. So yeah, let's go ahead and just move up our infantry on this flank now. Uh, because we can actually start just really, really starting to bring on the pain. Oh, their men have come back uh, now, which is a bit surprising. And what the other unit is? Is it this one? Yes, it is. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do. Let's go ahead and just get our men into melee and we can just clean it off. I can just do a heroic charge under musket fire and everything, but they will they will stay strong, they will keep up the charge and they will stay victorious. Oh, they're turning around like cowards and running. What cowards? This is gonna be such a cool, cool uh, charge and yet and uh, yeah. Oh no, they have actually stopped on our men are running, bayonets poised. Ready to slam into these dudes who don't have bayonets and have pretty much nothing to defend against it. They got axes. That's not gonna stay too that's not gonna be any too good against my bayonets. And uh, hopefully they route pretty quickly. I can't imagine them yeah, routing pretty much instantly. Oh a cannon shot actually did hit over there. I should probably tell my cannon to cease fire now. 
that should stop them from firing, which is cool. And then just keep on reforming. So all we need to do is just keep on moving up, and this infantry division should not really stand a chance. Because uh, we have just so many, we just have so many more men than them, they really can't do anything. Cannons can, can uh, continue shooting now. And who is going to fire off the first volley? That is the question. Oh, it looks like we've killed their general, which is nice. Go and just reform up these dudes. I have two lines thick, which is nice. The cavalry is ready to pounce when I tell them to. We'll go ahead and just deal with these grenadiers quickly, which are hiding like cowards behind a wall. And shot like one bullet before my cab come down and just rain, rain steel upon them with our horses. Yeah, I would shit myself if I was them right now. Because they're not really going to stand a chance. I just blew up a lot of my own men with that cannon shot there. Which is not good. I don't think they actually have anything left now, apart from these grenadiers. We're going to tell these dudes just to stop. And by the looks of it, that's the battle. That's the battle over. Go ahead and just reform this line quickly. And yeah, as soon as this routes, I guess, uh, will be claimed a heroic victory. We'll go ahead and just charge down this infantry division, but I think that's everything. I don't think we have anything left. There you go. Victory and battle. Heroic victory. That's, that's brilliant. Couldn't ask for anything more from my men. But yeah, battles are so epic in Empire. I really, really, really am enjoying this campaign. If only my computer was better and it would load a lot quicker. That'd be lovely. If there's any millionaires out there who want to buy me a computer, feel free to. But you have to be a millionaire. You can't can't not be a millionaire. Could you imagine if you had a million pounds and just oh you could just spend it on wherever you liked? I would buy such a nice computer, it would be insane. I'd buy several computers. I'd spend a million pounds on a computer, <laughs> could you imagine? Like you can't even fathom how much like, you, you couldn't spend, like, I wonder what's the maximum you can spend on a computer before you just, like, run out of things to buy. Because surely you must eventually just, like, probably get to about 10 grand and then be like, oh, well, I can't really buy anything else. Um, yeah, there surely must be a limit to how much money you can spend on a computer just before, like, you just can't buy anything better because the technology just hasn't been released but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode now i mean we had a good 20 minutes um so yeah i will leave you with the british just raiding everything i own uh, and making me very very upset but yeah so i, I will see you guys next time and uh fish out